In this activity, you will be modeling the motion of a person on an electric bike. The electric bike has 10 different speeds, and you're going to be looking at the relationship between the speed of the bike and the time to move between landmarks. When you hit begin, you can see the setting of the bike is set to 4. You can click on that and make it any value you want. The higher the number, the faster the bike will move. The bike will move at a constant speed for that setting. This is not the speed, just the setting number. When you're ready to start the motion, you hit start motion. And as soon as the object reaches the first umbrella, you start it. You can measure the speed of the object. It looks like it's around 4.5 meters per second. You're going to be waiting till it hits the second umbrella and you're going to stop the timer just as it crosses. Write down your speed, write down your time, you stop the motion, reset your object, change it to a different setting, start the motion again, and time it again. Each time the umbrellas will be the same distance apart. And again, you record your speed, you record your time, I would suggest doing this for at least five different settings. And when you're done, you're then going to switch over to your graphing program. You're going to put your speed on the X axis. You're going to put your time on the Y axis. And you'll see that you get an inverse relationship between time and speed. Greater speeds require less time. If you want, you can override your default equation and you will get an equation time equals some number over speed. This number at the top should be the distance traveled between the two umbrellas. And then you can use this equation to make predictions for times when you have a speed that you did not actually collect. So if you have a speed different from any of the collected speeds, you can figure out the time with this equation that you got by modeling the motion of the object between the umbrellas. So once you have your graph done and you have your equation, you'll go back to this program. You'll hit finished. You want to enter in your name. You want to put the distance between the umbrellas, and again, that should be the number at the top of your inverse equation. So that would go in here. Then you want to use the unknown speed, okay, so the speed that you didn't test. So in our case, 19.9, you want to put that in as your x value and solve for y. Whatever you get as your answer, you put that in here and hit submit. Hopefully everything will work out well and you can share your results with your teacher.